Okay, so I'm making two versions of this video, one for the Patreon and one for YouTube. I don't always do that, so I thought I'd call it out in this video. By the way, you guys, thank you for supporting me within the Patreon, because without the Patreon, there is no YouTube channel. Um, and for my YouTube only fans, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. I really appreciate your support. It gives me life and helps me keep wanting to do this to get that kind of support, right? It's hard to do it when like nobody loves you. <laughs> um, it's freezing here in Florida. It is 50 degrees last night. It was 30 degrees. I was like, is it gonna snow? <laughs> What is happening? I know I keep talking about the weather on my YouTube, but I can't help it. I feel like the planet is just, what is it doing? What's happening? Okay, so the first part of this video is going to be some gossip a Patreon shared with me uh, when he ran into Teresa and Louis Ruelas at the airport. He sent some pictures to me. I'm not gonna share the pictures in here, but um, he then also gave me some insight into some things that he witnessed, and I'm gonna share that with you. And then the second part of this video, I'm gonna share some gossip that was pretty shocking I was sent about Louis Ruelas' past. So give me your full attention for, uh, what is it, like 14 minutes if you can. Okay, <laughs> let's go. So really, the gossip that came from my Patreon was that when he ran into Teresa and Louis at the airport, it struck him that Teresa came off as being down or kind of sad, like she was dragging herself sadly. And she was, you know, and he was trying to figure out, like, why would she be sad? It was late December. And Louis Ruelas was just being very serious. So that was really kind of interesting. Uh, and then he had a theory that it may have to do with the fact that TMZ interviewed Teresa at the airport about her stint in prison. Now, maybe it was that, it could have been that the fake Cartier bracelet uh, scandal, you know, dropped in the tabloids around that time too. So maybe it was that, I don't know, but it really struck him enough that he wrote me and sent me photos and said something, which he's been with me for years. So that's saying something. Anyway, I asked him, do you think they had a fight or what do you think happened? And he really seemed to believe it had to do with the TMZ interview. So let me play it for you guys so you can see what you think. And then I'm gonna share with you the gossip I was sent about Louis Ruelas' past. More than 10 years, likely, in, in, in prison. What advice would you have for them going into prison as, say, celebrities, you know, for fraud? I would say, um, like, or for tax one of my memoirs or whatever. that I wrote is standing strong, so stand strong, uh -huh. stand strong for their family, and, you know, manifest while being in prison what they want when they come out, and just to be strong for their children. How hard is that going to be for them to be strong, you know, seeing their kids grow up and maybe get married and have kids and all sorts of stuff while they're in prison? How hard is that going to be for them? It's going to be very hard, but they have to, you know, they have to make the best of it and they have to stand strong for their family and stay connected to their children and make it work. Would you advise the children to go see them when they're in prison? Oh, of course. My children came every week. Okay. Every week. And that's, that, that part is important to kind of keep them going? Yes. Write letters, send yes. photos? I mean, and the thing is, like, my children were young, but that's the thing, you know, based on their schedule. Yeah. They used to go once a month. <laughs> Yeah. I exercise, I, yeah. I manifest, I think you 
yoga every single day. They have yoga um, classes in I prison? I wrote my book when yeah. I was in prison. Wait, he speculated that maybe that TMZ interview might have happened before and talking about prison like got her upset or, uh, you know, like I said, there could have been a few reasons for it, but I thought I would share that with you. Now, right after I got sent this, I got sent this gossip, which was not sent to me anonymous. Here it is, the gossip I was sent. I was Louis's first employer back when I was 19. I hired him out of sympathy and he turned my company upside down. Please warn his new wife that he is a con artist and a woman abuser. She needs to get out soon or he will go after her daughters and the friends. He milked me for over 600 grand stealing money with him and his brother. He abused women on a daily basis and please warn them. I know his family for over 30 years. They are bad, bad people. Please beware. I have stories of him and his family that would make your head spin. He's a bad man. Allegedly, Louis Ruelas held a gun to his head and was seeing underage girls in front of him. And this person who submitted this gossip did not do it anonymously and in fact said that he wanted to make sure it came out what he had done because for some reason Louis Rowellis had ruined his career years back or his company. So that's his reason for releasing this intel. You know, so you could argue that this gentleman is disgruntled, certainly, and, you know, so maybe that some of this is exaggerated, or you could argue that this guy is, you know, highly motivated to get the truth out. Now, I considered uh, reaching out to him to come on my show, but uh, as I understand, he's an older gentleman uh, because this happened some 30 years ago. So I'm going to try to take Alexia's perspective, which is that Teresa can fix anyone and she has fixed this man of all of his problems. Alexia from Real Housewives of Miami. That's what she said. She's close with Teresa. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna believe that. Let's just hope no more fake Cartier bracelet things happen, you know, with Louis Ruelas. There's already so much, you know, speculation around his intentions with um, Teresa's daughters and Teresa and that I just really would love to see no more scandals around him happening. One thing's for sure. There is so much smoke around Louis Ruelas. The question is, is there fire? Let me play you something that Teresa said on her podcast, Namaste Bitches. Love the podcast. Um, here is a sound bite that I thought you might not want to miss. Oh, no. Listen, I didn't even cry in the court. When I got sentenced, I didn't even cry because I know in my heart I didn't do anything. And I thought I was not going to jail. Like, I really thought I was not going to jail. Like, I was like, this is a joke. Like, this is l literally a joke. Like, and then when I don't even know when. She, whatever the judge said like her wording i didn't even understand what like she, she was talking so fast and then i was like what did she just say so, and then I, I i missed when she even like said it and then i asked my lawyer and i'm like did she just say i was going to jail and he's like yeah i'm like what oh my god and then i was just like this bonkers. i'm like this system is so up like you know i'm like it's just so crazy and i guess because i was on the public eye but i swear i like i mean i really in my heart because i know i didn't do anything and i was just like now, this to is be so fair i agree the justice department needs serious reform okay there's no question there needs to be better checks and balance system and it's a business and it needs to be looked at and I do think it needs some uh, reform, okay? But that said, uh, and, and obviously the prosecutors do seek out celebrities to set an example to the rest of the world because they have a tendency to get more press when they do something wrong and then you learn don't do that or you're gonna get a lot of time and you won't do it and the world won't do it, right? It's setting an example. But that said, this is why Teresa got jail. She was supposed to only get probation and no jail. 
According to Judge Esther Salas, who was presiding over the case at the U.S. District Court in Newark, Teresa and Joe were supposed to complete probation reports listing their assets and specific financial information and bring them to court. However, the judge said there was still missing items adding up to no small sum of $75,000. As a result, Salas told Teresa, on one hand, I see you, you're a savvy businesswoman, but then you're going to tell me you don't know how to cooperate with probation. Full disclosure of your financial assets was a requirement. The lack of transparency, that's what offends the court. And then she gives her the 15 month punishment. Hear the judge, I mean, I can say it now, to hear the judge say things, that stuff that she heard on the show, that I guess my own family members were saying, to me was so heart-wrenching like was so disgusting to me what do you mean the judge was coming at you saying oh this, this and this because they heard from your family members that you had done things yeah look the yeah like she's like yeah the judge made comments like yeah if you read the transcript like based on the show yeah she was making comments and i was just like wow i was just like i can't even believe and i remember like like i remember like my brother saying one thing like my sister always carries the latest designer bags and and or something like that and it's like excuse me like wh first of all why yeah it's just so crazy to me because now i'm re-watching everything re watching like watching it not you know because this is the thing i lived it i lived it and yes we had to write our blogs and um you know it's a, and you didn't watch every season no, I didn't. Yeah. From when my brother came on and Melissa came on the show, I did not watch the show. Right. Because it was just too hard for me. And first of all, I was a mom. Like, I was like, all right, I, you know, I film. Then that was it. Like, but I'm back to my being a priority mom. priority was my children. Hmm. So what do you think about this newest gossip? We're going to see Louis Ruelas and Joe Gorga fight in the upcoming season of Real Housewives of New Jersey, which is coming out in February. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to cover it. Um, so, you know, what do you think? And I, I mean, I, what really struck me with this conversation was... <sighs> that she thinks her brother tried to make sure she got more punishment than she was supposed to get, like did his best to hurt her with the Justice Department. I, I mean, what kind of a sibling relationship is this? It's horrific. So anyway, I mean, Joe and Louie are gonna have the big fight. Uh, Teresa is no longer speaking to Joe. Joe keeps saying he'd be open to talking to her and Teresa's like, I want nothing to do with you. I don't blame her. They have a totally dysfunctional relationship. What do you guys think, huh? What do you guys think about all this? Oh, by the way, on the Patreon uh, last week, this week, and there'll be um, more in February, I'm doing my uh, origin story and the Dana Wilkie deep dive that lots of people wanted uh, to know my situation and what happened with me. So I did a like a series and it's, it won't disappoint, <laughs> let's just put it that way. Um, but I'm keeping mine in the Patreon because it's, you know, I don't have the ability to write a book. So that way I could get a little something for sharing it. Cause it's not, my life was not a fun story by any means. It's been like a weird story. I don't know, it's been like a shitty story or anything, but it's not been the best story, let's just say, for me living it. <laughs> Oh, the spiritual growth we get from a wacky life. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. You never know what's going to happen on my channel. <laughs> Bye, you guys.